Hello, hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, you are in the street, or what? Where are you? Voy llegando a mi casa. Oh, okay, okay. Pero ya voy entrando a la residencial, por eso me conecté. Don't worry, don't worry. It's Thank okay, you. but just be careful. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. So it's good to have you here. That's the most important part. Yes, hello. Yes. Thank you. Hello for the rest of you. Hello, Nilsson. Hello, Jose Luis. Hello, Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. How are you today? Good. Uh, working. Always, <laughs> but, but good. <laughs> Always working. My God, another day working. That's very yeah. difficult, but yeah. Are you yeah. going to have your weekend off? What's it? Sorry. Are yes. you going to have your weekend off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this weekend. Oh, that's that's very good. Definitely. Yeah. That's good. At least you are going to rest a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, welcome to the rest of you. Today is Friday, November 4. And today is our class number four, right? Today we are going to be working a little bit on um, speaking production. You are going to work a little bit on uh, mini presentations, right? That it's going to be very useful for you to start like getting into this world of talking in English, expressing yourself in English. Don't really worry about if it is perfect or not. The idea is that you participate, produce, and for sure, uh, practice your English. That's the most important part. It is not about like how perfect it is or if you don't have any mistakes or something. No, the idea is that you actually produce the language. That's what I want you to do. And for sure, this is a very good opportunity to do this. I am going to be um, analyzing, taking notes, right? Don't feel bad if you see me taking notes because it helps me to um, uh, actually assess at the end, right? With, with the pronunciation things that we need to improve. Right, so don't feel like, oh, the teacher is writing everything that I am saying, no. Or the teacher is, oh, I am making a mistake because the teacher is writing everything, no. Right, así que no se, no se aflijan si de repente me ven que tomo notas o que estoy eh, anotando algo, es para obviamente el momento del feedback, para que podamos hacer un feedback ordenado y que pues ustedes reciban su información correcta, ok. So that's the idea of the presentation for today. We are also going to be working a lot on other different parts of grammar, right? And for sure, we are going to be developing different activities. It is a pleasure for me to have you here. And for sure, when all your classmates continue connecting, I am just getting my pencils and stuff here. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to happen today. And I am very glad that you had the chance to actually connect on time. So today, let's start our day or class by asking, how is everybody today? Are you feeling good, bad, so, so? How are you feeling today? Good, bad, or I so? I feel good, teacher. You feel good. That's fantastic, yeah. right? That's great. Yeah. What about Jose I Luis? Feel good, but some tired. You feel good, but tired. Okay, Blanquita, it's good, but tired. I don't know. Uh -huh. Jose? My case, I feel good, but nervous. Nervous. <laughs> nervous. Go <Come> on. <laughs> no, you don't have to feel nervous. You know, this is the most uh, important thing to do when you want to learn a new language. And I always say this to my students. And 
my, my phrase for them is the following. And I say, nunca dejen que los nervios le roben el éxito. Because in some cases, you know the language, you know the vocabulary, you know the phrases, you know how to say the things, but you get so nervous that you just don't produce, you get mute. And you are like, pero si yo lo sabía, yo sabía lo que iba a decir, right? Don't feel nervous, don't feel stressed. Uh, I really like to have this type of environment with my students on which all of you feel important and all of you feel capable to do different things. So don't feel nervous, Jose, you will see. And you're going to say like, ah, gee, it's done. I finish, right? It will be very quick, you will see. Rafael, how are you today? Hello. Rafael I'm Alexander. Fine. I'm fine, teacher. But okay. I'm, I'm a little tired. You are a little tired, I imagine, right? All of us, it's Friday, it's the end of the week. It's like, uh, after a holiday, it's very difficult yeah. to, to continue. The, uh, the, how do you say, initial? The beginning? The beginning of the month is, is so hard in my work. I imagine, right? Mm -hmm. The closing and the beginning, it's always hard. Me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> It's like when you say like, I guess cierre. Ah, hey, this you. Oh my God, <laughs> come on. It's very complicated. Okay, let's see. Raul Ernesto, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. I'm fine. You're fine. Very good. Wilmer, how are you? Uh, thank you, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. very good. Let's see, uh, Mr. Hernan Antonio, how are you today? Hi, good evening. Hello. How are you? Uh, for me, it was um, a normal day, and heavy work and traffic. <laughs> the traffic was horrible today. Oh my God, no, no, no. Yeah. And, and after this crazy rain, at, the, at noon, that was like, good. I work near Salvador del Mundo, and yeah. it was this crazy rain at noon, and I was like, oh, what's going on? How, do you, how, how did you feel yesterday, teacher, with the earthquake? <laughs> you know, when I finish the class, I have to uh, edit the video and the, and the recording and everything, so I stay uh, in, here in the mini office that I have uh, alone working and all of a sudden I was like hey what's going on because my chair was like Bruh. then then everything started like shaking and I was like ah and then my husband and my kid escaped from so, for your life uh-huh and I was alone here and only my dog came to to see if I was alive <laughs> and I was like gracias por dejarme morir I said <laughs> Because he just grabbed the kid and he escaped. And I was like, ah, gracias. <laughs> gracias. Hasta me cerraron la oficina. <laughs> it was terrible, teacher. It was really long and horrible. Like, I, I was just very scared. And, and my dog was barking me and barking and barking. And I was like, run, let's move. <laughs> but she was barking, but she was not moving. And I was like, Kiara, let's go. <laughs> And everything was shaking and shaking. It's horrible. I, I really hate earthquakes. I, I, I don't like them. But yeah, we live in El Salvador. I was I was doing some presentations in, in the United States in a scholarship. And I was telling the students about the, the earthquakes in El Salvador. And they say, I have never been in an earthquake. How is it? It's like, yo nunca he vivido un temblor. ¿Qué se siente? And it's like horrible. <laughs> So they they need to leave. So, but thank God we are we are fine and everything is fine. But many people say in El Salvador that it's the change of a station. They say that okay, se acabó el invierno. They say when it when it shakes. Uh -huh, and today, a big heavy rain. So we don't really know what's going on in our country with these changes of the weather. But Thank God we are here and we are fine. So today 
we are going to work on our class number four. We are going to work on our professional profile. It's a little bit of how you present yourself in a professional environment, right? Something simple, something um, brief, right? Later on, we are going to do the professional profile in written, and you are going to see that it's going to complement a little bit of what you are going to be doing today. So I am going to ask, let me see, maybe I am going to ask Cesar Amaya to help me to read the first five uh, agreements. And then I'm going to ask, uh, let's see, Andrea to read the number six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, Cesar from one to five, and then Andrea, six, seven, eight, and nine. Go ahead. Cesar, I cannot listen to you. There you go. Speak, speak. Hola. Go ahead. Uh, Juan, practice your English as much as possible. Uh, number two, ask for help. Ask for help when needed. Number three, keep your cameras uh, on half time. Number four, keep microphone. Microphones. Off. Microphone off uh, if we are not using them. Uh, number five, attend all your session on time. Okay, practice with me. You say attend all your sessions on time. All your sessions on time. Go, Cesar. Attend all your sessions on time. Attend all your no. sessions on time. Say all. All. Very good. English. English. All. No, no, no. Practice with me. English. Uh, practice just in your English. You say English. English. As much as possible. As much as possible. Very good. Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Ask for help. Ask for help. Ask. Ask. For help when needed when needed when when needed needed very good keep 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 your cameras keep your cameras on on all the time on all the time all the time all the time say all 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 the good. time very good thank you very much now let's continue with andrea Uh, participate as much as possible. Okay. Uh, keep a cooperative attitude during class. Uh, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And I work on the platform every day. Okay, you say attitude. 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 Keep a cooperative attitude. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Very good job. Thank you, Andrea. Very, very good. So uh, these are our agreements. Remember, we're going to practice them every single day. So I was sharing about the highlights of your day and you were telling me a little bit of what you did and how were you feeling and also how were you feeling yesterday with the earthquake and all this, right? It was a big shake, but it was very good. So I am glad that all of you are here. Sus casas, todo está bien? No se cayó nada? Nada, solo molleras todas bien, no se cayó ninguna. <laughs> okay, very good. So, we are going to work a little bit on uh, what you are going to do today, right? You are going to tell about it. You are going to do a mini practice with your friends. And for sure, this is going to help you to improve a little bit on the things that you are going to be sharing. The most important thing when you listen to someone, pay attention, okay? Pay attention because you can help the person to pronounce better. Right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to work in groups of three and you are going to present a little bit in the group. You are going to give your presentation to your friends in the group and they are going to listen to you. 
to see how you do it and for you to practice, ¿ok? Lo vamos a hacer ahorita en grupos de tres y en su grupito los tres van a presentar así rapidito lo que van a decir. ¿Para qué? Para que ustedes se sientan un poco más confiados, más tranquilos y que no los tire al agua pato así de repente eh, a presentar. También eso les puede servir para que ustedes escuchen entre ustedes y que ustedes digan, no, mira amigo, eh, creo que esta palabra la estás diciendo así y es así. ¿Okay? Creo que el peer correction es muy importante cuando nos corregimos entre nosotros, pero no así como, hey, qué feo lo decís, po. qué feo se te oye. No, right? no te entendí nada, bo. nada se te oye, nada se te entiende. No, be careful, right? be careful on the type of correction that you make to your friends. So, and it's not only like, ay, sí, qué bonito te salió. And you don't even make any comments, right? Te sale chivo, sí, sí. Porque no le estuvimos poniendo atención. That's why the groups are just for three members, okay? So please, I am going to send you to working groups and you are going to practice. When we come back, you are going to present for the class, okay? So right now, we're going to do a quick practice about five to seven minutes. Right, we're going to discuss. And when we come back, I am going to start calling out for the presentations individually, okay? So here I go. I am going to send you to working groups. Practice, please. I don't want you to be speaking Spanish in the groups. Practice your English, practice your English. Let's see. Okay. I have groups of three. Very good. So let's go to the groups and practice your presentation, ¿ok? Yo voy a llegar a los grupos solo para corroborar que estemos practicando, pero no los voy a interrumpir, ¿ok? Go ahead. Okay, very good. Hello, Horacio. Did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? Yeah, but I complicate uh, now uh, because I'm here in English class, but in my cell phone in how do you say tuto, tutoria? Ah, you are in tutor, yeah, in a tutoring yeah. class. Tutoring, uh -huh. uh, for, for my MBA, entonces, uh, y todavía no he terminado. Entonces, okay, uno, don't 15 worry. minutos. Don't worry, don't worry. Just, uh, okay. just, just mute it, don't worry. I'm going to go and check the groups, okay? Okay, okay, thank don't you. Don't worry, don't worry. I cannot. Hmm. cuatro. What? Comienza. I'm going to start a share the screen to type in the, the conversation your your conversation Bueno, in my case, in my presentation, uh, uh, my name is Cesar Romero Maya. I am uh, 29 years old. 
eh, I am uh, I am computer engineer system. I student at the University of El Salvador. Uh, well, I started working at uh, Early Edge. Uh, I have worked with uh, cutting coffee, uh, also as a Mason helper. No sé si así le dice este ayudante al bañil. Mason helper. Algo así. No, yeah, that's, that's correct. Uh, Mason helper. Uh, also, I have uh, worked as a referee a uh, football sal. Uh, I, I also did all the wild student at the university. Uh, I have also worked on um, agriculture, uh, planting uh, corn, planting beans. Uh, in the university, uh, I was an uh, instructor, Matt. Yeah, <laughs> math, math instructor. Math. Math instructor. Instructor. Math instructor. Instructor. And instructor. There you go. Uh, as an engineer, I have uh, I already work here as a software developer, uh, programming mobile uh, with technology summary, uh, Flutter, uh, Reconnective, uh, and other. Uh, with uh, uh, I have also worked uh, programming web web no web development uh, front end and back end. Uh, uh, okay, so comment? remember when you are pronouncing, you say I have worked. I have, I worked. have worked. Okay, if you don't say I have worked, so you say I have worked. Worked. I have worked as, and then you say the, the different things that you have done, right? So you say, I have worked as, and then you mentioned, right? Like, I have worked as a teacher. I have worked as an engineer. I have worked as a developer, right? But I have worked. He trabajado. Have worked. worked. Uh, yeah. Okay, so keep sharing. Okay. Hola. Okay. Uh, my name is Paola Linares. <clears throat> I, I, I have 40 years old. Um, so you I say, work. I am 43 years old. Remember. I am 43 years old. Thank you. Um, I work. What do you say, teacher? Okay, as, you can say I. You can say I have worked as. He trabajado de, right? I have worked as. But first, you can say, for example, eh, remember that you need to give your profession, do your professional background. You say like I am an accountant. I am a teacher. I am a technician. I am a an engineer, right? First, eh, tell you. So I so say like I have a bachelor in marketing. I have a bachelor. In marketing. I have a bachelor in marketing. Okay, bachelor is una licenciatura. Right? I have a bachelor in marketing. Okay. Sí. Okay, continue. Okay. I have a bachelor in marketing. I have worked. As, I have worked as. I work as. I have uh, worked. I have as, worked as. Uh -huh, very you. good. Continue practicing. Um, I will go and check. Secretary. Uh -huh. Secretary, um, of... yeah, 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 yes, yeah the, the transportation. That's okay. It is okay that when you mention that you don't, you don't drink and you don't smoke because to other persons, uh, sometimes it's not like that. And if you are, yeah. in, if you are treating uh, with person, it's very important to respect that. Yes. Okay. I and 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 my 
my day the, the off in my work, I am the driver for the tourists in San Salvador or inside the Salvador, outside the Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras. I am, I am visitor Mexico, different different countries to Mexico. I have visited, you say. Yeah, I visit. Uh, yeah. No, you say I, I, I have I, visited. Have vis visited. Yo he visitado, right? I have visited. I have a visitor. No, you say I have visited. I have visited different countries. Different countries like like Mexico, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and then you can say all the countries that you want. Ahí sí puedes decir, ve, I have visited different yes. countries like Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, etc. Para que hagas una sola lista. So you say, I have visited different countries. Uh, okay. Good. Continue. Continue. Okay. Thank you. No, finish for me. Yeah. My co okay. co work. Could you Could you please do your presentation again? Who? Okay. Nelson. <laughs> ah, Nelson, do your presentation again. Me? Me? They want you yes. again, right? Yes, Why? Again. Because the teacher is with us right now. And, uh, <laughs> okay, teacher, I will do my presentation now because uh, for me, it's very hard to make two minutes about, to talk about myself. It's very difficult for me. I don't know why. It's okay, it, it is for everybody. Don't worry, right? <laughs> Yo creo que pasa, okay. le, que pasa a uno con, eh, por esta etapa, ¿verdad? que a uno le dicen, Mira, y conoces a fulana. Sí, que no sé qué, y ella es así, así. Y uno puede hablar maravillas de la gente. Y cuando le dice, bueno, contame de vos. Uh, and, and you don't know what to say. And it's like, we, and you have many things that are important, right? But go ahead, do it, Aleida. And I'm okay. going to listen, and then I will correct. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, my name is Aleida, and currently I am working uh, for Ria Multi Transport. I've been working with them for two years as an account account uh, receivable uh, position. My main duty is collect money and customer service. Uh, I work with uh, spreadsheets and uh, and and uh, reconcile and reconcile in bad reconciliation, uh, I am a very, uh, I am a goal-oriented uh, person who likes team work and looking for uh, solutions. Um, I, I really like to learn new things. And uh, I am organized. I go with numbers. Uh, <laughs> okay, important. Okay, to make it a little bit longer and to make it a little bit more meaningful, you can start by saying uh, about you, your generalities, right? How old are you? And what did you study, for example? What did you study at the university? If you say like, wow. I am an accountant, I am an administrator, I have a bachelor in accounting or whatever thing. So you can give a background of who you are. And okay. then you say like, I started working when I was 18 years old, for example, and my first work was this and this. So you can mention a little bit of your background and then mm -hmm. you can mention a little bit of what you do now. So then you oh. can just build up the idea. Puedes empezar mencionando un poquito de tu background, un poquito de lo que hiciste, que estudiaste, cuáles fueron tus primeros trabajos y de ahí ya vas un poquito con el trabajo que estás haciendo ahora. So it's oh. going to be many, very meaningful for the two minutes. Oh. Okay, so okay. try to practice again, build it up a little bit, and I will come back in a moment, okay? okay. Sigan practicando, ya vuelvo. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Take uh, a lot of, a lot of photos about a lot of things. <laughs> okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and... Uh... What is another question? Um, 
questions do you need? <laughs> uh, I want I want to ask how long do you have studied English? How long have you been studying English? Oh, okay. Uh, well, in my case, um, so you say I have been studying. Ah, uh, I have been studying English for a little time, but currently I I try to to learn uh, again because uh, I think it's a uh, is uh, necessary for me <laughs> because if I if I apply to another job, uh, for example, uh, out to to Latin America, I need to communicate uh, in this language. So I don't I don't think that if I if I talk slow or or, or bad. Uh, there's a problem for me because in the in the area in the area that I I I would like apply I know there there is a lot of people of different or different part of the world so it's a normal if I can communicate with another uh, it's a must <laughs> that is that is important <laughs> yeah it, it is really important well you know uh, whenever you are like practicing English for these uh, like work purposes, if you want to work in a different country outside Latin America, it is very necessary that you have very good communication Sorry. skills. Yeah. Sí, somos cosas serias, Chelito. Y eso que no nos ha visto cuando nos emocionamos. <laughs> so, uh, it is good that you practice your communication skills, right? To communicate with others. And for sure, it's a good way to practice. So, how long have you been studying? ¿Por cuánto tiempo has estado estudiando? Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you been, long have you been studying? Maybe around two years. Two years. Or, or two, two point half years. Two and a half. Two and, two and a half, half years. Two and a half. Two and okay, half. okay. So in that case, when you say, how, how long have you been studying? I have been studying for two and a half years or uh, for two and a half years, you can say. So that's okay. that's the way you answer that type of question. But congratulations that you are back in track. I am going to check if the other ones are working and I will come back in a moment. Okay. Uh, I um, Well, my work, in fact, is in network. Uh, I am a charge for the, the network in the Universidad Tecnológica. I see servers, I, uh, I configure in switches, routers, and I am technical support as well. Okay. I listen to a TV. I don't know whose TV is on. The quién es la tele? Ah, there you go. <laughs> I listen. <laughs> I, I was Wilbur's TV. Okay, it was like I was listening to Carlos and to a TV. Uh, eh, eh, because <laughs> teacher, I I'm here. Uh, eh, uh huh. Is uh, is the telenovela? Yeah, is the, if the soap opera. Uh, <laughs> soap opera. If the soap opera is interesting. I do this. <laughs> no, yeah. you can you can you can watch Marimar in YouTube. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so Carlos, what an interesting job the one that you have. Uh, interesting, yes. interesting, and very complicated at the same time. Um, yes, it's complicated. Yeah, so yes, it's okay, good. I like it that I do. Yeah. That's very good. Well, remember when you start presenting, you can talk a little bit about yourself. You can talk a little bit about your previous job experiences and uh, you can talk a little bit about what you do now, okay? ¿Quiénes okay. son? Más o menos un poquito de sus generalities, eh, un poquito de su previous work experience and then what you are doing right now, okay? Around two minutes, okay? Practice for the last time because I'm going to see the last group and we're going to go back. Okay. Reality is in... Cooperative. Hello. 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 Do you have problems with something? No questions. Sense. Sense. 
Um, más que toda la pronunciación me están ayudando los compañeros. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me, tell me, I can help you. Ajá, <ríe> uh -huh. por ejemplo, como, eh, como problemas de horario, me estaban corrigiendo ellos. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Eh, why you can ver eh, schedule, algo así como schedule. Schedule, schedule. 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 No, say, eh, you don't say two, you say schedule. 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 There you go, schedule. Very good. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. That's a, diffi that's a difficult word, definitely. Uh -huh. Schedule. Schedule. Let me send it to you. Se la voy a enviar al chat para que la tengan todo. Okay. It, it's a complicated one. Definitely. Another one? Schedule. Schedule. Um, safe, uh, safety. Safety. Que se escribe safety. 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 Uh -huh. Safety. Safety. safety, safety, schedule, safety. I, I don't know, teacher. Safety, uh, I think is for uh, security. Uh, sorry, is uh, seguridad industrial. Sorry, safety. industrial safety. Industrial safety, yes. Mm -hmm. safety. Industrial safety. But the the war, the or compa uh, or a friend find a uh, uh, looking for this uh, secure uh, seguro de mi mismo ah okay when you say i am sure sure, sure about myself mm -hmm. right i am sure about myself sure. but what is the phrase que es cuál es la frase en realidad que quieres ocupar O sea, ¿en, ¿en dónde vas a ocupar esa frase de seguro de ti mismo? Ajá. So, you say, like, I am sure about myself, you say. Okay, any other one? Mm. I am clear. Okay. Okay. You are clear about what you... Questions, Rafael or Andrea? No, teacher. Okay. Mr. Rafael, questions? Mm. Not really, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. So that is... Uh, well, that, that's it, basically. We are going to... Um, to go back to the main room and I am going to send something here. Just give me one second. I will send you how you read the schedule. And schedule. yeah, I have a little picture here on how you read it. Here it is. Schedule. And you will you will laugh when you see it. So you say schedule. Mm -hmm. Nurse. There you go. Right. You have it in the in the chat. It's a schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. That's the okay. way you read it and that's the way you pronounce it. Okay, let's go back to the main session. And here we go. Okay. A schedule. Okay. Okay, welcome back, my dear class. Before we start presenting, I am going to call the attendance before I forget. And then we can just present without any problem or difficulty. Here we go. Now that you did it with your friends, it's going to be easier <laughs> to do it with the class. I feel more nervous, teacher, you will say. 
Okay, so let's start with uh, Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlitos, today uh, your session is with me. Okay, don't forget it. Cesar Romero. Ah, okay. Present. Eh, Aparicio. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Eric Jose Hernandez. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's go. Let's continue. Eric is not here today. Eh, Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Horacio Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Luis Ramos. Here. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan Francisco. Present, present teacher. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's see. Eh, Carla Flores. Carlita Flores. I could swear that I saw Carlita. Oh my God. Okay. Nelson. Here. Paola Elena. Here, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio. I am here, teacher. Raul Ernesto. I'm here. Wilber Alberto. Present, teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdi Alessau. Here, coach. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Let's start. Let's start. I feel very strange when people tell me coach. But it's good. It's okay. Okay, we're going to start. I don't know if I have any volunteer to start. If you want to do it first, or if you want me to do it in the order of the list, if you want me to do it in the order of the cameras. <laughs> you are very nervous right now. Go on. <laughs> me. Okay, Nelson wants to do it. Go ahead, Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> the people cheer Nelson. Vamos, Nelson. Yay! Échale porra, Nelson. Vamos, vamos, Nelson. Vamos, échale porra. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Thank you. Okay. Go on, Nelson. I'm, go go. I'm going to, to start. Go ahead. I think that the benefits I will bring to the company are the following. I am graduate uh, of the Utec University as system engineer at 25 years old. I am a committed person, respectful, with integrity. I have a lot of experience in the similar position in IT. In the fact to become who I am today, I need to study by myself for much time because I wanted the job. And then I was able to get a, the job at the company where I currently work and that I have, uh, that I have been able to learn much more and put my knowledge in practice. Uh, I like teamwork and share with uh, others my knowledge. Um, I like to learn as much as I can and I like to face challenge because uh, I learn more from those situations. And in conclusion, I know that I am the man this company needs. <laughs> okay. So without any further ado, hire, right? I am the man that this company needs. I mean, that, that's good because you are sure about what you know, right? You are sure about what you are looking for, right? Remember, excellent job, Nelson. You did a very good job. I think you doubt too much when you are speaking. Todavía dudas un montón cuando hablas, así como, me voy a equivocar, me voy a equivocar. No, I mean, try to make yes. it fluid. Try to make it fluid. Because when you feel that you are going to make it like to make a mistake or something, you sound like 
robotic, right? Cuando pensás demasiado que te vas a equivocar, me decís, I think I am the, uh, the appropriate man for this company. So you say like, you are sure about what you know, you have the vocabulary, you have the knowledge. So just trust on the process. Uh, pronunciation things, when you say, I think, think. I think. Uh -huh. Because uh, when you say like, think, I think that, say, say, I think that. I think. So it's that. a little bit softer. So I graduated. Okay. I graduated. I graduated. Needed, right? I needed, needed. needed. And uh, challenges. Challenges. Very, okay. very good job, Nelson. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. A clap for Nelson, people, some reactions for him. Great job. It's not easy to be the first one. It requires a lot of courage. Very nice. Thank you, Nelson. Who's next? Ya, ya se rompió el hielo. Ahora ya vamos. Como gordito en tobogán. Vámonos. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is my presentation. Okay, well, I think most start saying that uh, I have around three years of experience in different areas, like photography, for, for example, because I worked 12 years in RAF. Also, I learned about computers, admin administration, human resources, and the same way, Two, I could learn pretty much about motorcycles because I worked five years selling them and selling parts of them too. After that, I was working in the world of food dressing in a company called Gourmet, like a seller around 10 years. And now in the plains world where I've learned uh, to handle different types of machines, such as forklifts and tugs, blowers and pressure washers. Uh, so based on that, I think could give my asset to this company in any of the areas that I mentioned before. Without mentioning that I have the ability to learn quickly, and that is why I'm applying for the position. I'm sure that I will be able to do a good job and support with that experience. And at the end, I, and if I also know that I shouldn't call, that you call me. <laughs> <laughs> and For sure. <laughs> uh, no, don't, don't, uh, don't doubt, don't hesitate that I am going to call you, definitely. Hey, <laughs> what a nice uh, background experience, the one that you have. I mean, you have a little bit of everything, right? In Very photography, cool. in motorcycles, in the food area, and now in the planes area. So it's very, it's very um, varied. And when you yeah. say like, for example, I work three years in RAF. So you say, I, that's very Spanish thing. So you say, I work in RAF for three years okay okay so you make the switch right okay i work at a, i work at metro centro for example for five mm -hmm. years i work at banco cucatlan for a year so that's the way you organize it right okay and the pronunciation of areas right areas 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 okay but it was very good very good job helen Nielsen. and okay, i am going you. to call you for sure <laughs> okay, definitely I will call you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. You will receive my call. Okay, very good job. Who's next? Me, hey, teacher. reactions for Ellen Nixon. Very good job. Okay, Hernan, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. My name is Hernan Chacon. My profession in an electrical technician. Um, the benefits I can bring to your company. Um, I have seven years of experience, so I have the ability to solve problems or electrical uh, failures. I am um, constantly training myself in technical uh, advanced um, to be up to date about the safer. Uh, safety stands and technical stands. Um, 
I have local, uh, I have uh, logical sense in all aspects of labor. I like change and uh, challenge. Uh, I have one thing uh, mentally. I like to be very respectful. I am also from open me. I have a high sense of responsibility and I have the problem with schedule. I am the person you need in your company. Okay. Definitely, if you don't have problems with schedule, you are the person that I need in my company, right? Because here in El Salvador, we need electrical support all 24 seven. Good, thank you very much, Hernan. Claps for Hernan, please. Yeah. Uh, reactions for Hernan. I have a couple of comments. For example, uh, the word technician. Technician. Technician, right? You have to like, like open your mouth a little bit, say technician. Technician. There you go. Because if you keep it close, you say technician. Technician. So you say it's technician. The next one, uh, I can bring to your company, right? I can bring to your company. I can bring to your company. So you say like there are many things that I can bring to your company. Uh, constantly. Constant. Con yeah, constantly. 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 Okay, standards. Standards. Very good. Logical. Logical. Challenges. Challenges. Open-minded. Open mind. Okay, you say I am open-minded. I am open-minded. Yeah, open-minded, but that's the adjective. Minded. minded. Very good. Minded. And for sure that you don't have problem with schedule. You don't have problem with schedule. Schedule. And I sent you the word in the in the chat. Schedule. You will learn a new word today. Very good job. Thank you, Arnan. Very nice. You see, you took the challenge and you did it. Yeah. Claps. claps. Claps, claps. Claps, claps, claps for Hernan. You see, ya ven, todos lo vamos logrando, ya ven. La cuestión es lanzarse nada más. Solo el brinquito da miedo de ahí para allá. <laughs> it's okay. Magdiel, go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. I'm expressing about myself. I have experience in automotive mechanic, especially with electric generators. According to my experience, I bet would be good, helpful in your company. My experience as automotive technician could be an important contribution for the maintenance of your machinery. A good coordination in the maintenance schedule and with quality workmanship. It is the key to success. Um, innovation and maintenance process could improve product productivity. It will allow the development of your company. I am sure that I can apply my knowledge in your requirements. And currently I work as a maintenance in charge, but I think that is time to change of work. Long story short, I what you need. Okay, long story <laughs> short, I am what you need. Yes. <laughs> to the point, right? Yeah, see me case. I am what you need. <laughs> Let's get married. Yes. Good, yeah, un hombre que sabe lo que quiere. Okay, good, Magdiel, very Thank nice. You. Tell me, what is something that you really like about your job? Something that you like about your job. ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de tu trabajo? Mm, I think um, all I do, all that, that I do. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I am a mechanic, and so I love the mechanic. <laughs> okay, you love mechanics, yes. right? Mechanics, yes. you say mechanics. Mechanic. Okay, practice with me the word experience. Experience. Contribution. Contribution. Machinery. Machinery. The key to success. The key to success. The key. The key. To. 
to success success innovation innovation improved improved okay how old were you magdiel when you started working mm, i have i was okay i was um six or eight years when you started working. ¿Tenías siete años cuando empezaste a trabajar? No, no, no. no. I was like, what? <laughs> Más trabajo infantil. <laughs> okay. No, I, I was started, I started uh, to work mm -hmm. uh, 20, 21, 21 okay. years. Okay, so you say yeah. I started working I started. when I was 21. Yeah. Okay, good, very good. Claps for Magdi. He even survived to the questions. That was very good. <laughs> like, oh, ya empezó a preguntar. <laughs> Hubiera sido lo primero. No <laughs> Thank you. You see, I was asking you questions because you were very well prepared and all your speech was very well designed, right? Todo tu speech estaba como bien redactado, bien bonito. So, but the idea of English is the questions that come just like that, right? A veces yeah. puedes ir muy preparado con tu speech bien ordenado y si te preguntan algo y no lo sabes contestar es así como, ok, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> es que eso no lo escribí. <laughs> so, that's why I was asking you different questions. But thank you always very much. happens. It always happens, right? Very good. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. No, but thank you, Magdiel. Who's next? Okay. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Raúl. Ok, thank you so much for meeting with me. Uh, well, uh, let me know who, who, who I am. My name is Raul Ernesto, and I, I study at Don Bosco University, uh, and, and I graduate in 2012 uh, in a grid at Designer. So currently, I, I have around maybe seven, seven or, or eight years in, in experience as a graphic designer, but currently I, I find a, a job uh, like a user experience. And I heard uh, you have a department like that. So I, 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 I would like to, to you hear me. Uh, <laughs> so, so, well, I think I have a lot of, a lot of, uh, I don't remember the name, great, greatest uh, strange. And one of, one of them uh, as like a team player, I would like to work with different groups. I don't have uh, any problem with, with one day work with a, with a person and another day with a, another groups so for me is is very very special doing that because i think uh, i would like to work with smart people than me because i i think i can learn a lot with them so that is all <laughs> Okay, higher. <laughs> so, very good. Excellent job. You see, you did it. Very nice. Excellent job. Claps for Raul. Very good. <clears throat> Just a little thing, Raul. When you say, let me know. Let me know who I am. It's like, déjeme saber quién soy. It's like, a... yeah, I confused that something. <laughs> and I was like, me? <laughs> oh, like... And I was like, uy, yo tengo que presentar ahorita. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you say, like, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you who am I, right? Let me tell you who am I, right? It's like, but it's like a, the best phrase that you can use in an interview. is like, let me share a little bit about me, right? Or let's get to know me a little bit more, right? Or I am sure that you want to know more about me. Right? Ahí ya te pones como la salsa, así como el, eh, yo sé que usted quiere saber de mí, ¿verdad? Okay, <laughs> let me share a little bit about me, right? Just for, for us to get into confidence here, right, to talk. So, but let me share a little bit about me or about myself, right? So you say, I graduated, I graduated 
and um, I am currently working, right? Say, I am currently working. After but is very common that we eat the subject, right? Siempre que usamos but o and, es bien común que nos comamos el sujeto después de eso. Siempre tenemos que tener un sujeto después de esas palabras, right? Say like, okay. but I am working, but I am studying, but she is there, okay? Because you say, but currently I am working, right? So like, but I am currently working. Uh, the next one, um, strengths. Yeah, that, that, that word is some, something I, I think the, the pronouns is greatest, but, but not right. No. It's greatest. <laughs> So you say like, oh, you can say uh, some of my greatest strengths, you can say, but just like some of my strengths, right? And when you say, I think. I think. think. Okay, don't say think. No, no es con ese, ¿verdad? I think, no. Think okay. es el que nos tomamos cuando nos dio COVID. I think. <laughs> I think. I think. 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 Okay. okay, without viene, this. Ah, yeah, y ahí viene el meme okay, aquel okay. De, la, de la, cuando mi teacher me enseña a decir... Say, I think, <laughs> right? I think this and this. Uh, strengths. And I like to work with people who are smarter than me. People who are smarter than me. Okay, very good job. Raul survive. Very good job. Thank you. Great job. Who's next? Ten, ten, ten. Can I teach her? Go ahead, Mr. Rafael. Okay, For good sure. evening. Welcome to my company. My name is Rafael Serna. I am a mechanical engineer and I prepare to work in group and I am methodical uh, to resolve problems and I learn fast. Uh, I am a sociable, team-minded, uh, friendly and cooperative. For these reasons, I, I am the person who looking for straight to the point right blah blah it's exactly on the face right you say i learn <laughs> fast i learn um, fast what is your previous job experience mr rafael alexander well i i work i work in a I optical work? lab i worked in an optical lab okay in maintenance okay we're doing maintenance how long did you work there uh, two years. I, I work in the lab, work in the lab two years. Okay, I worked in the lab for two years. That's very two important. Years. Thank you, Rafael, because you answered my question. Answer complete uh, things. Don't give short answers, right? Porque no vamos por el mundo diciendo blanco, rojo, negro, sí, no, uno, dos, no, right? You give complete answers in your life. So it's like, how long have you been working? Two years. Yeah, for a year. Maintenance, cleaning. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, near Salvador del Mundo. So you say, I worked there for two years. I work in maintenance, right? It was a difficult job, right? And you give details at the moment of answering. But it was very good, Mr. Rafael. I am sure that I am uh, that you are the man that my company needs. For sure, we are going okay. to call you not tomorrow because it's Saturday, but on Monday. Okay. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you, Rafael. Very good job. You did very, very good. Aleida, go ahead. Girl power. Very good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everybody. My name is Aleida Amaya. Um, I studied a bachelor in sales in the Universidad Tecnológica, uh, but I didn't finish the bachelor. Um, uh, my first my first work uh, was as a receptionist in um, a building industry, and my second uh, work was as uh, manager assistant. Uh, I worked there for around 10 years. And uh, currently, I am working uh, for Via Money Transfer as an account receivable um, position. My main duty is collect money and um, 
and customer and customer service. Um, I am a I, I am a very oriented person in, to work in team. Uh, I love. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I love to give solutions to my uh, to my clients to uh, my customers. Uh, I am a very organized person. <clears throat> I am very respectful. I can work uh, with uh, very hard uh, um, very hard um, how do you say? <laughs> panoramas or, or, or a, hard, a hard clients, I, I don't know. Sorry, teacher, I cannot hear you. Turn on your yeah. microphone. And that's the secret of eternal happiness, is scenarios. <laughs> oh, okay, with hard scenarios, yes. Sorry. Uh, okay, no worry. And uh, I can work with a uh, spreadsheet. I think that I have a, a, a lot of experience uh, to give uh, to, to your company. Okay, very good job, Aleida. You see, you. and you were telling that it was difficult to talk about you and you did it. <laughs> very nice, claps for okay, Aleida. Thank you, yeah, she did a very thank good you. job, very good. Excellent job, the one that you did, Aleida, very nice. So thank you. Uh, just a couple of things on pronunciation. You have a bachelor. Right, bachelor. Bachelor. And you say like, uh, you give solutions, you provide solutions. Oh, okay. Right? Provide, provide solutions. And the same for everybody, the pronunciation of think. I think, think. that, okay, I think. very good. If you make it softer, you don't say, I think that we can do it, right? So you say, I think. I think, I think. Very okay. nice. Thank you, Alayda. Okay. Another clap Thank for you, Alayda. <laughs> Andrea, go ahead. A ver si ya todas las chicas, vamos. Your power, very good. My name is Andrea Benitez. My profession is bachelor degree international marketing. I would like to work in this company because I am creative, polite, proactive, uh, strategic, and ethical. I like to collaborate in some area that needs support. And I am a responsible person. I like order. And I have uh, the professional capacity to be able to work professional in the request position. Straight to the point, like Rafael. Good. Okay. So you say uh, that's a very good thing because you say many of the important things about you in brief, right? You were straight to the point, right? Te fuiste directo al punto, and that's very good, right? And it says like, I am, I like order, you say. <laughs> I like order. So you say, I am organized, as you say. I am very organized or very neat. Because you say like, I like order. Es que va a llegar Andrea y le va a decir, bueno, se sientan todos. To be like, okay. I am very organized, or you can say I am a, a very neat person, right? Neat is like very, very straight and organized, right? I like to work professionally. Okay, I like to work professionally. But that was very good, Andrea. In general, it was really good. Thank you very much. Claps for Andrea, people, yay! Mr. Rafael Antonio, welcome to the company. Tell me a little bit about yourself. <coughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. My name is Rafael Antonio Barrera. I am driver or chauffeur, professional. I like my work, the driver. Um, I am in the part of different work in an American embassy in present in CSL. Uh, Depending the American Embassy or CSL and Comalapa Airport. Um, I like the the soccer. And I am the friends in the, my work. 
I am 20, 22 year age, I'm sorry. Uh, two daughters, one son, but I'm living in, in San Salvador. Uh, and my hobby is the, the, the driver for the tourists in El Salvador in Central America. I am happy for and my work. Good. Mr. Rafael, good. Excellent. Thank you that you did it. Very good job. You did it. That's, it requires a lot of courage to talk in front of people. You say, good evening. Good evening. Good night es cuando ya nos vamos a acostar. Okay, you say good night, people, because you are going to bed. Right, good evening. Okay. Okay, good evening. That's important. Evening. So you say, I professional driver. So you say, I am a professional driver, right? I am a professional driver. It, when you are doing this a uh, professional profile, you can start by telling a little bit of what you did before, okay? Siempre es importante. Es importante mencionar como las cosas que nos gustan y todo lo demás, pero es importante mencionar, por ejemplo, su experiencia previa de trabajo, right? Lo hizo, mencionó que había trabajado para diferentes lugares. So say, I worked for the American Embassy. I work for this other company. I work for this and that. So you say, apart from my job, puede decir como aparte de mi trabajo, apart from my job, I like soccer. I like to make friends. I like to travel. Uh, I have two daughters and uh, one son, right? My hobby is to drive uh, for the tourists, right? Just organize the ideas very well. What I, what I need you to do, Rafael, is that I need you to send me your paragraph. Necesito que me envíe todo el párrafo que hizo para ordenar las ideas y que lo volvamos a leer y lo vamos a trabajar después, ¿ok? So, Rafael, in the chat, uh, in a private message, en un mensaje ya directo para mí, envíeme cabal el párrafo que usted creó para ordenar las ideas y de ahí lo volvemos a practicar, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because the idea is that you organize your, your ideas and that you create very good uh, communication strategies. That's what we are looking for. But it's a very good job. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Rafael Antonio. Let's go with Jose Luis. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi, my name is Jose Ramos. I have a degree in marketing in the Universidad Pedagogica de Salvador. And I will be a great asset for your company because I have a knowledge in financial process. Also, I'm very organized and I have a knowledge in Microsoft programs, for example, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, by Excel in a basic level, I can just practice some basic things. Also, I have a customer service skills and I'm very creative when I solve problems. Um, and also I will be a good co-worker because I can work in team. That's why it will be a big pleasure to me to contribute with my knowledge in your company. That's it. That is a very good ending for a job interview, right? It will be a pleasure for me to work in your company. It's like, you see, Salvadorian things, right? Enjoying, enjoying. <laughs> Very good. So everything was so nice. Everything was very beautiful. Just when you say, I have a knowledge, I have a customer service knowledge, right? A knowledge, just erase the ah. So you say, I have knowledge in this. I have customer service skills. Because if you say, I have a knowledge, it's only one knowledge. Okay, so es un knowledge. In knowledge, no puede ser singular. I always, I always forget that. <laughs> yeah, knowledge is in, in general. Oh, no puede ser singular. Entonces, I have because knowledge. When I, my, when I write my paragraph, I didn't put that. But yeah. It, because in Spanish, you say, yo tengo un conocimiento de no sé qué. Tengo mm -hmm. un conocimiento. Y, y conocimiento cannot be only one. Okay, because it's in general. So that was the only thing. But in general, it was very good. Thank you, Mr. José Luis. Yeah. Claps. Hey, reactions for Mr. José Luis. Uh -huh. Ya ven, ya pasé, ya no les pongo atención. No, you have to pay attention because we are listening and learning from everybody. Mr. Horacio, go ahead. Welcome to the interview. 
Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Horacio Menendez. I graduated as a system engineer 10 years ago. I started working in a photocopy center at the Technological University. I attended many students and professors, and then I changed to the technical assistance area. Uh, now uh, I am a business manager and I like finance and I want to learn to speak English. Uh, if you hire me, I call this time your website and I can do the annual budget and cash flow. And I call server, I call attend your VIP clients. And I, I will and I will I, and will be of help to your company. Yay! I found I found the man to do the annual budget. Very good job, Mr. Horacio. Very nice. Uh, a way to introduce yourself, very nice way to present and sell yourself, right? And it is good that you say like, I started doing this, I started from the bottom, and then you see, I have improved until uh, until now, right? So uh, just a little bit, I want to learn, you say, I want to learn English, right? And I graduated, right? I graduated. So those are the only things that you need to improve. But for the rest, Thank you very much for all the things that you're going to do in your company and in my company now. I forget that I am the owner. <laughs> okay, so here you have your briefcase. You can start tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you, Horacio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yay. Miss Paola, go ahead. Hi, good evening. Hello. My name is, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Paola Linares. I have uh, 43 years old. I have a bachelor in marketing. And I have um, worked in customer service for 10 years. And actually work in Coagro and sales and I like it a lot. Um, I like to see people well and I learn quickly. So English, so so. <laughs> okay, so you say I learn quickly. Learn quickly. And you say okay. I learn am quickly. I am on the process of learning English. So you say I am on the process of learning English. Siempre ustedes tienen que ser como eh, humildes, pero también orgullosos de que lo que están haciendo. ¿ve? Así como que, ay, no, el inglés no, malo, yo, malísimo. No, no, no. You say, like, I am learning. I am on the process of learning. Porque eso quiere decir que ustedes están continuamente mejorando y subiendo la barra de su profesionalismo, right? And you say, English, so, so. So you say, I am learning English, right? I, okay. Or I am on the process of learning English. Eh, when you say, I am a 43 years old. So you say, I am 43 years old. I am 43 years old. Okay. Sorry, problema canino aquí. <laughs> okay, so you say, I am 43 years old. You say like, actually I am, right? So I am actually working or nowadays I am working in this and this. Okay, so, okay. but it was very good. It was very nice, Paula. Thank you. Uh, reactions for Paula, yeah. Very nice. Mr. Wilbur, go ahead. Good night. Good evening. Uh, sorry. Good evening. Uh, I work in a security company. Uh, I work as a alarm technician. I belong to a technician department. Uh, uh, my, in my work consists in install alarm, CCTV, GPS, access control. Uh, I had 10 years of experience and 
I don't know what, what to say. It's not so much, but uh, uh, my work, uh, I assist the clients uh, when they need a, a, a solution for, uh, for their assistance. Alarm, CCTV, I don't know what they need. Uh, we, we, give, we give them a support and we help. Uh, if you need a support about uh, your cameras, we get uh, we uh, we arrive uh, where you need uh, your com your company, your home. Anyway. Okay, very good, Mr. Wilbur. Tell me three characteristics of Wilbur that you mm -hmm. consider that are good for my company. Well. Uh, um, I consider myself I am a, a learning fast. Uh, I have a compromise. I don't know how to say. Committed. 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 You are committed. Okay. Uh -huh. So you say I am committed. Okay. I have a committee into the company. Um, um, I have no preference about the the hours work. I I can work anywhere, anytime. Okay, you don't have problems with schedule. So you say, I don't have problems with schedule. I have no problem with schedule. Very good job, right? When you say, I consider myself, and then after that phrase, you give the adjective. Siempre que decimos la frase, I consider myself. So you say, I consider myself committed. I consider myself organized. I consider myself uh, uh, always available, right? You give the adjective. That was very good. Thank you, Wilbur, for your presentation. You did a very good job. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> When you say I assist the clients, right? Okay, I I work at well customer service and I help the clients, right? I assist. I have I offer a support. You don't say a support. You say I offer support. Es como el mismo caso de a knowledge. Yeah, no decimos a knowledge. No decimos a support. I offer support and uh just that and committed right remember very good job thank you thank you very much blanquita go ahead thank you okay good evening people it's a pleasure to me <laughs> uh well my name is blanca alejandra portillo and now uh, i'm a collection agent and i'm work at grupo monje but I study at the university and I have a profession, I'm a teacher. I have some experience with, with those because uh, in the past, I worked with children. I, I am graduated in 2018 and I worked with, with in a kindergarten and in a school. And my social hours was in a museum, Ting Marin. But uh, uh, now I would like to work, uh, to work, um, now I would like to work even in a school or in a kindergarten, but it's some difficult because uh, in my work, I, I have more money than my, than in a school. And now I'm work at Grupo Monge and I'm a collection agent. Um, I help someone to, uh, I have to collect some money and, and I help to some people to update the account. And I bring there some, solutions like have an agreement and and i was thinking that is better work a like a collection agent and because i have a because i have a customers and i sell them payment and they know that they have an article and they have to pay for this but if i or if i'm if am i was 
a salesperson. I think that was some difficult because uh, I have more, uh, mm, I, I forgot it. I have more attitude for collect money and um, I, I am be patient for the customer because they have more and more and more excuses, everything. But I will, I try to give her more solution because that, because it is, it is very important that they have uh, update the account and only that. Okay, very good. It is a very curious job, the one that you do, but it was very interesting. Thank you, <laughs> Blanca, very nice. Thank you. I agree when you say that you have more money there than working as a teacher. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it is very rewarding. A mí me pagan con amor. Yo me llevo con el amor de But we didn't, we didn't survive with love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a bad thing. With money. Part, right? Yeah, that's a bad thing. But in my free time, but in my free time, I give a, I have an, an extra hour because I I give academic a, I give class for uh, another children hey. and they and they going to me because I have a um, academy effort or oh reforce. okay uh, you you have a school reinforcement. Yes, hey, because I nice. like I like to say time with children. I like learn them, and I it's some it's some curiously because I didn't have I I'm not patient uh, with people. I'm not patient, and with my baby, I'm not patient. But with the children, I'm very patient. And sometimes when I'm angry and I'm going to hit some children, I'm <laughs> only. Have a break and okay, they have to pay for Are this you? and only thing the money you you uh, you are uh, gave money for these children and be patient. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, eh, ah, justo cuando iba a enviar a mi hijo a la academia. Pero <laughs> no soy una buena teacher. Los niños me gustan ir a mí. No soy una buena teacher. Soy una honeymoon. Ok, let's see. Believe me. <laughs> Ya, yeah. cuando pienso que le voy a pegar, me acuerdo que no le puedo pegar al niño. <ríe> sí, pues okay. sí, porque ahí me pagan y ni modo, si no viene ya después, me va a salir peor. No, go on. <ríe> okay, so you better stay with the clients and the money and uh, all the other things. No, I'm kidding, Blanquita. Yes. Okay, so pronunciation things. When you say children's, it's not possible. You say children. Okay. Children. children. That's just like okay. that. When you say, I am graduated. So you say, I graduated from, uh, uh, yeah. so you say, my social hours was in Tin Marin. So you say, hours is plural. So you say, my social hours were, okay? Yeah. Uh, I am work. No, you say, I work. And let's see, let's see what was the other one. Uh, I am be patient. So you say, I am patient, right? I am okay. patient. Okay, I am patient. Okay. Very good. So uh, it was very good, right? Thank you, Blanquita, for all the explanation. Please don't Thank hit you. the kids, okay? <laughs> claps, for, claps for Blanquita, si no le va a pegar a todos. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Si no, ya no saque el cincho Blanquita <laughs> a todos. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Uh, well, good evening. Uh, my name is Carlos Eduardo Torres. Uh, I have experience like customer service. In to, uh, my first work uh, was in Pizza Hut. I work uh, since 2005 to 2012. And after that, I work in Chef Factory. I work in Chalatenango. It's time to 
2013 until 2015, if I remember. And then uh, I work in teleperformance in Hilton account. And after that, inside teleperformance, I work in uh, FedEx account. For that reason, I have a lot of experience in customer service because it's, the account is hard. And then uh, my parents helped me to pay at uh, the university. And I graduated uh, from Universidad Tecnológica. Uh, uh, I am a network technician. And in fact, I work in Universidad Tecnológica. And I configured a router and switches and servers. And I studied as well in INSAFOR. I studied computer maintenance, maintenance. Well, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, computer maintaining, man, maintenance. 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 Yeah. And I started as well in Windows Server 2016 and VMware um, EX. And I know that I have a lot of experience in my, in my area. And I know um, I can help in this, uh, in this company. I am polite, I am social, and I am patient. Okay, very good job, Mr. Carlos. Very fluid, very nice. Yay! Um, I really like the order of ideas that you have, that you organize your ideas and everything fluids very, very good. And it tells me a lot about your experience in customer service. I just have a couple of comments on vocabulary, but the ideas and the, uh, the fluency of speaking was very good. So you say, my parents, my parents. Don't say my, my parents, parents, okay? My parents. Ah, okay, my parents. okay uh, configuring. No, you say I set up networks. Ah, okay. Set, set up. up. Okay. And maintenance. Set maintenance. Maintenance. And you say I am social. No, you say I am sociable. Ah, I am sociable. Sociable. Okay, very good job. Another clap for Mr. Carlos. And last but not least, let's see. Oh, I think I cover everybody. No? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah, I think I cover everybody. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien? No, right? Nelson, Aleida, Cesar. Yo. Cesar. Ay, you see. Ay, vamos a ver qué tan honestos son. Dije. Ya, ya pasamos todos, teacher. Adiós, adiós. Cesar, go ahead. Hey, hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Cesar, Cesar Mayan. I am um, 29 years old. I am a computer system engineer. I studied at the University of Salvador, uh, where I started working at an early age. I have worked cutting coffee, also uh, as a mason helper. Also, I have worked as referee futsal. Uh, I also did have uh, this while studying at the university. I have also worked uh, in agriculture, planting uh, corn, planting uh, beans, uh, and more. Uh, in the university, as I was a math instructor, uh, as an engineer, I have already worked uh, as a software developer, uh, programming mobile, which technology, summary, Ruler, Play Native, and other. Uh, I have worked uh, uh, programming web development, uh, front end and back end, uh, with technology C Sharp, Java. Uh, Re React JS, yes, uh, Node yes, in other. Yeah, I currently work uh, as a programmer analyst backend. Uh, my tasks uh, are, an are to analyze the system and um, programming and to be mirrors uh, and other tasks. That's uh, just that. 
Very good job, Cesar. You see, in the second time, you was a lot better, right? Uh, tuve la oportunidad de escuchar a César en la práctica, hicimos algunas correcciones, and he did a very good job in the second tasks. That was very good, César. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it is really admirable that you started from the bottom. You say in agriculture, carding coffee. And I mean, you, you started from the very, very bottom, and then imagine all the things that you have done. Imagino que sus papás están sumamente orgullosos de todo lo que ha logrado. That's pretty awesome, mm -hmm. definitely. So, uh, just a couple of pronunciation things. So you say agriculture, agriculture, math agriculture. instructor. Math instructor. Instructor. Uh, instructor. <laughs> okay, instructor. We're going to send you a little bit. All the names of all the different technology, I, I think you win in that area because I have a lot of issues with that. Todos los nombres de todos los programas que me dijo. So, I, I, my respect. I don't really know them. And uh, I work uh, to analyze. So, you say, I work, uh, well, you can say, like, I am an analyst. You can say, I am an analyst. Okay. See, decimos, I work to analyze. It's very complicated because you say, I am an analyst. Soy un analista de sistemas, whatever type of systems, but you say, I am an analyst. Okay. Very good job. Another clap for Cesar. Very good, very good, very good. <clears throat> so you see, you survive. Sigo teniendo mis estudiantes. Mis 16 estudiantes siguen vivos. Nadie murió en el proceso. So you see, it's good. I mean, it's good that you produce your English. You have been for an hour and 30 minutes talking in English. You have been producing English. You have been listening English. You have been analyzing English for an hour and 30 minutes. And you were not thinking about how do you say this in Spanish? How do you say that in Spanish? No, you were just developing knowledge. And that was very good. Okay, that was really, really good. I really congratulate you for all the effort that you did. Okay, so how did you feel? ¿Cómo se sintieron en la presentación? A ver, cuente. I was commenting with a lady that, that this activity was good because it was about something, um, something activity that we do in the daily because uh -huh. I was tell uh, to a lady that when I have, oh, okay, the verb be, we know the verb be, the verb, and all things that grammar, but when when I have an interview and they say, okay, tell me about yourself, I, I think, uh, no, <laughs> I am they, happy. And, I and am they sure. tell me, and they tell me, okay, tell me, uh, what would you like to do in 10 years? And, and this, ans these questions, Siempre me ponchan en esa pregunta y por eso no trabajo en inglés porque no puedo. So you see, it's uh -huh. difficult. Uh -huh. But it, now I think that it's important to uh, practice uh, like this because we uh, speak more and we practice more. Yeah. Not only grammar because I think that we is uh, is better learn and uh, is better learn with the speak and uh, and Okay, to put things in, into practice. You know, yeah. I, I really like to combine everything because as you have seen, we have had grammar, we have had a practice, we have had writing, but I really like the students' uh, production of the language. And, and we learned some words that we didn't hear uh, last. Yeah, so even, even if you are in, in what? Beginners six, right? You are starting, but... It is not that I am going to say like, okay, we're going to see the colors today. We're going to see the alphabet today. No, I really like to challenge students because I know you have the capacity. Yo creo que siempre, todos tienen la capacidad de hacer las cosas mejores. And the idea is that you break out the barriers of the fear. Si rompen la barrera del miedo a hablar inglés, you did it. I mean, you did it, definitely. That is the most difficult part. When you are like in front of a person, it's like, aha, tell me a little bit. And, so like, and you just panic and you just stay blind. And so like, you don't know what to do, right? But in an environment on which you only have to speak English, you have to do it. And I think you did a very good job. 
So my dear students, thank you very much for this activity. And for sure, we are going to have more activities similar to this one that we just did, okay? You did a very good job. So uh, yesterday, I was talking about uh, the different forms of presentations and how important it is to present yourself at the moment of a professional interview. I am going to give you some tips about this and I have the seat format. The seat format is for you to introduce yourself in a professional way and I have it like this. Seat is for skills, experience, achievements and the type of person. Those are four important things that you need to share in a professional interview, right? The skills, experience, achievements, and the type of person that you are, okay? The skills and qualities are the things that you have studied, the things that you have done in your life. The experience is the things that you have actually done with your knowledge, okay? Los skills son como los obtuvieron, las experience son como los han puesto en práctica, Los achievements son que hemos logrado con esta puesta en práctica. And the type of person is like, I am sociable, I am organized, I am this and that. So a good interview is going to base on these four things. Skills, experience, achievements, and the type of person that you are. And for sure, yesterday I shared this with you. Ayer les envié un link con 100 diferentes adjetivos que pueden ocupar eh, para el momento de las entrevistas profesionales. I have some here for emotional intelligence, for leadership, and for results driven. A person that is results driven, it's like you are looking for results to get your goals. You are strategic, you are self-started, organized. Uh, you think on their feet. To think on their feet is that you are on the ground. Ese sería un buen, eh, un buen salvadoreño. Alguien aterrizado, que sabe dónde está y sabe para dónde va. Punctual, discipline, motivator, passionate, hardworking, and competitive. For the emotional intelligence, you have someone empathetic, active listener, problem solver, patient, intuitive, perseverance, self-control, self-awareness, motivation, good negotiator, and you have a lot of more adjectives that you can use at the moment of presenting yourself in a professional environment, okay? So you can screenshot them or I can send it to you in a picture, right? I am going to send them to you on the chat. So voy a enviar ahorita en el chat, it's the slide. So you can keep it. And you can use the adjectives. I mean, it is always necessary to improve your adjectives and not only use the same adjectives all the time. I am good. I am organized. No, you can actually do it in a better way. Let me just picture it for you. There you go. Okay. So these are the things that you need to keep in mind, right, at the moment of working in a professional uh, presentation. So and as well, I was talking a little bit about the time expressions, right? This was the little introduction that we had yesterday. ¿Se acuerdan que hicimos una pequeña introducción a las time expressions? Que eran for, ago, since, right? And I am going to mention a couple of them. Here on the time expressions, we have for. Carlos Eduardo, what do we use for? For. Um... Here. The for is used to indicate a period of time. Uh, how long are you staying in London? I'm staying for a week. My okay. mother is going to Rome for a new day with a friend. For a few. Hugo, for a few days with a friend. Hugo is going to study in Sydney for six months. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. So in this case, you indicate a period of time for a week, for a few days, for six months, okay? That is the case of four. You don't say to a week, on a week, in a week. No, you say four, right? In which other cases we use four, Nelson? Okay, 
for is often used with the present perfect. Julie had been waiting at the bus stop for 10 minutes. I have lived in this country for five years. I have had this dress for a long time. Very good job. Thank you, Nelson. With the present perfect, you say, I have been waiting, right? Julie had been waiting for the bus for 10 minutes. I have lived in this country for five years. I have had this dress for a long time. I have been studying English for how long? For one month, for two months, for six months. How long have you been studying English, people? ¿Quién me responde? Ellen Nielsen? Okay, uh, I have been studying English for two years. For two years, right? Very good. Rafael Antonio? Um, I have studied English for three years. For three years. Uh, Jose Luis? Um, I have been studying English for one year. Very good. For one year, right? For one year. Mm -hmm. And the last one, we're going to have a, let me see, Horacio, can you help me with the last one? This one. So or it can be used with other verbs tense. Present. I go on holidays for two weeks every summer. Past. When I was 16, I studied in London for two months. Future. While I am in the USA, I will be in New York for two... Uh, for two... Days. For two days. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you use it with other verb tenses. In present, I go on holiday for two weeks every summer, right? In the past, when I was 16, I stayed stayed in London for two months. In the future, while I am in the U.S., future, you say future. While I am in the U.S., uh, USA, sorry, I will be in New York for two days. Very good job. So in this case, this is the use of for. We have other words, for example, sings. Sings, let's see. Blanca, can you help me uh, to read the use of sings? Yes, teacher. Sings is used to refer the starting point of actions or situation. The present perfect is generally used in the main clause. And there you have the examples. Can you help me with the examples? Okay, I have been waiting for the bus since eight o'clock. Very good. The next one. I live in Tokyo. I have lived in Tokyo since January 2010. The next one. I have been learning English since the beginning of the year. A lot has changed since his appointment. The restaurant has been successful since it opened. Very good. Since it opened. So since, in this case, what is the meaning of since, people? Desde. Desde, Desde. right? I, I, have have been... a, I have a question. Yes, Carlos? Uh, for example, in the first uh, uh, sentence, uh -huh. I have been waiting for the bus since 8 o'clock. Uh, if I change uh, one hour, I need to say for one hour. Yeah, in this case, you don't use things, right? If you say, I have been waiting for the bus uh, for one hour, you don't use, uh, you don't need to use things. You don't say things for uh, okay. one hour. It's not possible. Uh, okay. So you say, I have been waiting for the bus for an hour. Or you say, I have been waiting for an hour for the bus, right? But in that case, you don't use things, okay? okay. Yes, in this case, since is like desde las ocho, desde las siete, desde las diez, and you give an, a specific point in time, okay? But if you use for an hour, for 10 minutes, it's four, okay? I have been waiting for the bus for an hour, for 10 minutes, okay? That's a different thing. Uh, so this is since, desde. And the last one that I have here is ago, ago. And in this case, I am going to ask, uy, I move it. Sorry. I am going to ask Aleida to help me with echo. 
A goal is used to say when past events happen. Going back from today towards the past, the verb is in the past tense. Example. I came to Tokyo two years ago. I arrived at the bus stop 10 minutes ago. The company was founded 30 years ago. The castle was built 300 years ago. We heard to talk about the manager some time ago. <laughs> the manager, the merger. We heard talk oh. about the merger some <laughs> time ago. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> the surgimiento. Some time ago. Ego, it's okay. like uh, this, the acid. Okay. I came mm -hmm. to Tokyo two years ago. Hace dos años, right? Mm -hmm. I arrived at the bus 10 minutes ago. Hace 10 minutes, right? So that is the meaning of ego. Okay. <laughs> So I know you have this previous knowledge with these different sentences before, but it is always good to kind of remember them. And we have other expressions. For example, for, right, is the one that we have been studying. You use for with a period of time, for seven years, for 10 minutes, for seven days, for three hours, right? You use since with a specific point in the past, as we were discussing. When do you use from to state the start? an end of time. I stay there from January to November, right? From to. And when do you use then? Can you help me to read when do you use then, people? Everybody? Use then to introduce. You use then to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until 20, 2011, then I uh, keep quiet. Then no okay, second. then I quit. Do you know uh, what the meaning I of quit. quit? I quit. I quit is like, thank you very much. Here you have everything. Yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. I quit. Renuncio, they say. I quit. I quit. Okay. Okay. So you say like it's a new for me. It's a new word for you. So it is it is very curious because we have different words. For example, we have quiet, mm -hmm. quit, and we have quiet. Okay, it's como más o menos, right? Quiet, shh, quit, done. And quiet is like kind of. So we have three words that are very similar. So, but in this case, I quit. Bye bye, Irina. I I am looking for a different job, right? And the last one, until. In which cases do you use until? Mister. Until uh -huh. to mark the end of an activity period of time. Okay. I worked in Panama until my project was over. Okay. Hasta que. So that is the meaning of until. I worked in Panama until my project was over. So these are the different time expressions that you can use. And I am going to give you a little homework. This is going to be for Monday. And I need you to a screenshot it, please. Or, and, I'm, and I'm going to send it also to the chat. I have here 12 sentences. The ones you are going to complete with four things and a go. I am going to screenshot for you and I'm going to send you the sentences on the chat so you can work on them. Here, let me send them to you. And you can do a little list from one to 12 and just to write the answers or if you want to write all of them, that would be perfect. Okay. And in this case, you're going to use for, scenes, and ego. Those are the ones that you're going to be using. For example, here you, say, you have Sam and Emma have known each other secondary school. Are you going to use for, scenes, or ego? What do you think you're going to use for number one? Since. Since. Ego. Right? Since. Since. You cannot, Since. You cannot say uh, Sam and Emma have known each other ago, secondary school, right? It's not possible. 
or for secondary school. It's not possible. Since. Since, right? In this case, it's since. I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years ago. Ago, ago right? Ago. So that's what you're going to do with your sentences. It's not going to be really complicated. And for sure, on Monday, we are going to keep practicing some of the things from the book. Let me just share it here. I think it's right here. I am going to call the attendance right now. And here on the book, you have a little bit of the use of for, since, from, then, and until. And on the book, you have another practice. This is the second practice that we are going to do. And we are going to check it in class on Monday, okay? So this is the second practice. Esta va a ser su segunda práctica para el fin de semana. And we are going to check it on Monday, okay? In this case, you are going to complete the paragraph with four scenes from, to, and long, okay? This is for Monday as well, okay? And here's the introduction that I was using in the presentation. And let me just call the attendance before we leave. Okay, so I can finish today with all the activities. Today was a very long day, but it was full of knowledge. I really like today's class. Let's see. Aleida. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea. Present teacher. Blanca. Present teacher. Carlos. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Cesar Romero. Helen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. Here. Jose Luis. Here. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdiel Esau. Present. Thank you very much. Well, my dear class, remember to do your two homework for Monday and we are going to continue working on that part of grammar. Please, if you have any question, don't forget that you can send it on the chat and I will be more than glad to help you with anything that you need. I hope you have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you on Monday for the next class. I am going to stay a little bit with Mr. Carlos, if I'm not mistaken. Thank okay. you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Thank well. you. Have a very weekend. beautiful weekend. Enjoy Thank your weekend. Good Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. See you on Monday. See you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. I will have just my one on one with Mr. Carlos. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> Thank you, Carlitos. Thank you very much. Well, this is going to be super quick. And the, the main idea of these 10 minutes that we stay in class is for us to like solve questions if you have, or uh, you can also ask me uh, about things that you need to improve on. So uh, I know that you have a very good background with English, right? Uh, where did you study before? Donde estudiaste antes? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I studied in a lot of in a lot of uh, academies. For example, I studied science 2012. This is my first uh, my first academy. It was in Academy Europea, and after that, I studied uh, six months. After that, I started in Open English. I paid Open English around ten months. Oh my uh, god! Then after that. Uh, I started in Prolingua, and then I started um, E4CC. Yes, but the English is hard to me. 
believe me, I started English, I tried to improve, but uh, around 10 years, and I tried to start it. Yeah, well, but I have seen that you have a very good background with the language. The thing is that maybe you haven't had the practice. Quizás no lo has practicado eh, así como muy seguido o, o de veras mm. como parte de tu, de tu día a día. ¿O sí lo, mm. lo, lo, lo usas mucho en tu trabajo? No, no lo uso mucho. Lo que pasa es que después de que yo trabajé en call center, yo trabajé en Hilton y, eh, y en Hilton me cambié porque necesitaba mucho vocabulario. Uh -huh. Entonces este, me pasé a FedEx que no necesitaba mucho. Después de eso, este, empecé a estudiar, renuncié y ahí, gracias a Dios, me salió el trabajo ahí en la Tecno y ahí me quedé. Entonces ahí no, no, no ya no practiqué en inglés. Ya, Ajá. ya, es, es, dije that, yo, no, that's, ya no. that's like the main problem. When you learn the language, when you practice and everything, and when you stop using it, you just forget it. And English is a matter of practice. If you learn English, you have to practice every day. Si no, lo practicas, only, si no lo practicas a diario, se te olvida. Uh, it's the only that I have a listen. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I watch movies and series in English and with subtitles in English because I, sometimes I cannot difference some uh, uh, the past, the present, the times for the sentences. The tenses. Um, and the tenses. Uh -huh. So in this yeah. case, uh, you use the English, uh, the English uh, version of the movies, and the English subtitles. Yes. Yeah, that's the best way to practice. I mean, mm. there are like many other things. For example, with the songs, if you like music a lot, get the lyrics of the songs. Mm. Right. Practice with the oh, lyrics. Yeah. Try to understand with the lyrics. Okay. No trate de entender las canciones así por así sino que siempre yeah. con las letras, siempre. So you can listen and say, ah, now I understand what he's saying, right? Or conversations. Mm -hmm. Practice a lot of conversations in English. If you have the opportunity to read online, do it as well. That helps a lot. Si tienes la oportunidad de leer cosas, artículos, manuales, mm -hmm. everything in English, do it because that helps a lot to practice. What else do you do to practice your English? Um... Sometimes I practice with my girlfriend because she works in FedEx. Okay. And sometimes I try to practice it to her because she needs to improve the English as well. Okay, so it doesn't have to be sometimes. It has to be <laughs> all the time. Yeah. All the time and in, in some yes. cases we say like, Ay, no, que pena, vea. Ay, démosle en español. <laughs> and you uh, never imagine how important it is to practice. Yes, to and if you have another person to practice, that it's a blessing because it's like, you mm -hmm. need to do it, right? So uh, yes. if you have the chance to practice with your girlfriend, do it all the time and every day. Yes. Uh, if I if I have a, an experience with that, I can tell you, right? La única manera de meterte de veras en el idioma es usarlo all the time, right? In yeah. chatting, in calls, in face-to-face -face interaction, right? If you have the opportunity to talk to different people in English, do it. If you have native speakers of the language, do it. Practice, practice the language a lot because that is going to be helpful. And um, in YouTube, for example, you can have a lot of different sites to practice pronunciation and they can be very, very useful. I can share some links with you. Do you have English okay. books in, in, do you have books in English? Sorry? No, I try to learn, no, I try to read the before one book, but I didn't understand any word because I don't know if it was a novel, but I didn't understand. Okay. Uh, sometimes I try to learn, I try to read in Narnia because I like that movie, Narnia, but sometimes I can not understand some sentences. Uh, okay. In some cases, we want to start, and I will give you the example. We want to start uh, learning English and reading in English with this. Oh, you want to start reading English with this when we really need to start reading English with this, right? Something <laughs> simple, <right. laughs> something simple. And you might say like, teacher, but those are books for kids. They are the best way to start. 
you can start getting like little stories, right? Puedes agarrar historias cortitas, historias para niños, cuentos, and that's that can be a starting point for you. And you can say, hey, I am understanding the story. A veces parece chiste, pero es anécdota. Que puedes comenzar con los cuentos, puedes comenzar con artículos, con un poquito de historias, short things. But the idea is that you get to understand the meaning. And then for sure you can read something like this, right? But mm -hmm. this is another level of reading, right? Another, yeah. Yeah. Yes, in fact, uh, uh, before uh, to study English in, in Sapporo, I have a test. Oh, really? And, uh, uh, yes, I had uh, intermediate four, I think. Uh -huh. But uh, I request to change because uh, I feel that I need uh, to improve more. Uh, for that reason, I am in basic six. <laughs> no, and it's good. And it is good because uh, you are improving and you are actually like kind of refreshing the knowledge. And mm -hmm. it's a very good opportunity for you to practice, right? So uh, in any case, and I always recommend my students, Start from the basic, go back to the okay. basics, read a lot, mm -hmm. listen to a lot of English, listen to music in English, movies in English, uh, the YouTube things, the videos in English. If you like TikTok, watch TikToks in English, right? But the idea is that you get yourself surrounded by the language, right? Te tenés que meter de lleno en el idioma. And if you have the blessing to have a girlfriend who speaks English, take the best advantage of it because it will be beneficial for you and for her. So, uh, yeah. Carlos, I really like the way you express, the way you uh, organize your ideas, continue working like that, try to do your best. And if you need extra help with anything that you want to improve, I will be more than glad to help you with that. I am going to okay, share you the, you the links for you to practice and for okay. you to improve your listening and it is going to be very beneficial and very helpful. And okay. you are you are very techy, so you are going to enjoy it. Pues así como eres bien tecnológico, te va a gustar ahí. Uh -huh. Los links uh -huh. y las cosas, los videos, etc. <laughs> and there are also like good apps that you can download in your phone for you to practice your English. So I am going to share a couple of them as well. Okay, okay. thank you very much. So have a beautiful night, Mr. Carlos. Thank okay. you for staying with me in these few minutes. And I'm going to see you on Monday. Remember to okay. do the homework, okay? Okay, enjoy Thank your you. week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care.